welcome we will start with some basic questions and then go in detail first question what key details must be included in deviation description while writing deviation description be specific and factual include key details such as what happened when it occurred where it took place and relevant identifiers in what words or language deviation description should be written use clear and simple language write in straight forward way that anyone including auditors or non experts can understand avoid difficult or more complex terms in deviation description very frequently asked question how long deviation description should be answer is limit the description to two to three sentences that cover the essentials without extra details what should be the structure of the deviation description organize the description logically start with the event then add specifics like date time location and identifiers for example on 10th october 2023 at 1430 a temperature spike occurred in reactor b batch number very important question tell me one example of deviation description on 15th october 2024 at 915 qa supervisor observed that the pressure in installation chamber 2 equipment id sc-02 dropped to 1.2 bar during the sterilization of batch number st-67890 below the required 1.5 bar pressure when should deviation description should be drafted write the description as soon as deviation is detected to preserve accuracy timely reporting facilitates faster investigation and resolution why active voice shall be used in the deviation description write actively to make actions clear for example the pump stopped at 915 instead of a stoppage was noticed this improves understanding and reduces misinterpretation shall we blame or speculate during deviation description writing describe the event objectively without pointing fingers for example the filter was not installed instead of the operator didn't install the filter keep the focus on the deviation itself not potential causes or culprits why double check for completeness is required for deviation description verify that all key elements like what happened when where and identifiers are included a complete description reduces follow up questions and speeds up resolution what regulatory guidelines apply to deviations in pharmaceutical industry ich q7 fds 21 cfr part 211 and ugmp annex 15 are the guidelines which are very commonly referred for deviations in the pharmaceutical industry don't forget to like comment and share subscribe to channel for more informative videos related to our pharmaceutical industry